It's a very busy time of year in the garden, so let's see what's been going on. The no-dig potatoes are coming up. Some of them are coming up earlier than others, but they are all coming up. Right next to the potatoes are the hollow logs that we've been using for several years, and we have petunias in those. It takes those a while to look their best, but they're already blooming a little bit. Where you see the string stretched out, I just planted some okra. I planted two types, Clemson Spineless and Heavy Hitter. On the ends of some of the straw bells, I put some Celosia. The tomatoes and the peppers will take a while to get going, but they're doing okay so far. That iris there just bloomed for the first time. Even though the streaks of white in the petals are pretty interesting, overall I would say this is not a keeper. I got these hybrid peppers from some friends. They're a cross between a lemon spice jalapeno and a korbaki. Then we have a very small Olympian fig that I'm going to keep in the container for a while till it gets its roots spread out. Right next to it we have three black pearl hybrid peppers. The peppers won't grow much until the weather starts to really warm up, but we already have a few blooms started, so it's going to be a good pepper year, I think. In our six straw bales, we have nine different types of sweet potatoes planted. In the near future, I hope to update on what varieties are growing and what our plans are for all of them. Like with the tomatoes and the peppers, the sweet potatoes won't grow much till it warms up quite a bit. In some areas, the carrots are looking pretty good, and then in other areas, they're just a little bit on the thin side. The lettuce in this row is called Rocky Top Blend, and we'll be able to enjoy some of that on our dinner table soon. This year in the large cages, we'll be growing two types of cucumber, two types of small melons, and five different pole beans. I did a video on 12 things you can grow vertically. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link down below. The tall hollow log is off to a pretty good start and is looking better every day. In the stackable pots, I have 15 different types of lettuce growing. Right next to the stackable pots, we have more lettuce growing in one of the grow bags. Right next to that grow bag, I have a 5 gallon pot with some black pearl hybrids in it. Right next to those, we have some ornamental peppers in a grow bag. Then in another 5 gallon container, we have some more black pearl hybrids. I have about 10 of those scattered around. Then we have a tomato in a grow bag, and then a jigsaw pepper in a container, and another tomato in a grow bag. Just past the grow bags are the bananas. That's the dwarf Orinoco that I bought as a replacement to the one that didn't survive the winter. And then we have the Musa Valutina, which is the one with a cage around it. Then finally, the Musa Bass Jew, which is about waist high. The four types of beets that I planted are coming up now, and I'll be thinning those soon. This time of year, we usually have lots of volunteers coming up, and these are Mexican sunflowers. Some I let grow where they come up, and some I move. Like this regular sunflower. Then I have a Velvet Queen that's just starting to come up that I'm going to let grow too. The rhubarb that I divided is doing very well and I recently delivered one of those to my sister. Along with the French sorrel that I also divided. Here's a look at my sister's garden. It's just getting started like ours, but it'll look a lot different in a couple of months. She's a talented cook, so it'll all go to good use. Just beyond the raised beds, my brother-in-law has some very large containers with potatoes growing in them. Those are looking great and are way ahead of ours. While I was in the neighborhood, I delivered some plants to my son. He got grow bags for the first time, and I gave him a baronia, some ornamental peppers, a couple of sweet peppers, a hot pepper, and some sweet potatoes and they're all off to a good start. The Washita blackberries are almost ready to bloom. We have lots of irises that are just starting to bloom and I'll be hand pollinating some of those soon. That dove that was sitting on its nest has babies that are almost ready to leave the nest now. 
The Orioles usually show up here about the third week of April, and the hummingbirds we start noticing about the first of May. I had to move the hummingbird feeder away from the Oriole feeder because it was hesitant to come with the Orioles there. I hung it from a rose of Sharon bush, and that seemed to work a lot better. The sugar ant peas that I have growing in a container are doing very well, and we'll be picking some of those very soon. I'm really enjoying their more manageable size. The corn that I planted recently is starting to come up and I'll be thinning that out very soon. This is the spinach that I overwintered in the grow bag and it's starting to bolt. I'll be saving seeds from this one. Nearby we have some spinach that I planted this year and it'll be ready to harvest before long. The pitcher plant that I bought recently is starting to grow pretty well. Since I'm new to pitcher plants, I'm not sure if this will be a leaf or an actual pitcher, but it's almost up to the light now. And at the base of the plant, it looks like we have another one starting to grow. From this point on, things should start changing at a pretty good pace out in our garden, and I'm looking forward to doing a better job of trying to show you what's been going on. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.